Hey everyone, this is your stimulus check update, second stimulus check update, and stimulus package update for Friday, October 9th. This video is for those of you on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and VA benefits, and for anyone else that's wondering about the second stimulus check and the stimulus package negotiations. In this video, I will be discussing the following topics. First off, President Trump said that talks have resumed between Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin. Next, Nancy Pelosi said that the airline industry is not going to be getting a standalone bill just for them and why that is a good thing. Next, I'm going to be talking about how Steven Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi are meeting once again and we're going to go over and we're going to go over what Fed Reserve Chair Jerome Powell said regarding more stimulus for the country. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin and I do stimulus check updates. And if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And if you find this content helpful, be sure to hit the like button so that YouTube will share it with others like you. When speaking with Fox Business yesterday, President Trump said, we're starting to have some very productive talks and that Steven Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi are discussing aid for airlines as well as another round of stimulus checks to individuals. It is great to hear that talks are resuming and continuing. The $1,200 stimulus checks that everyone has been waiting for are part of an overall package deal that has been you know, a subject of discussions for the past few weeks and even months. Those on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and VA benefits would be eligible for the $1,200 stimulus check. And in addition to this, those that were claimed as dependents and left out of the first stimulus check from the CARES Act, they would receive $500 stimulus checks as part of the most recent proposals that have been made. Earlier in the week, President Trump tweeted out his support for $1,200 stimulus checks to individuals and asked to do so as a standalone bill. And he said if there were a standalone bill for just stimulus checks that he would sign it today. However, as I've gone over many times before, Nancy Pelosi has said multiple times that there will not be standalone bills, especially for stimulus checks. She did reiterate this yesterday, except this time regarding a standalone bill for the airline industry. And this is why I think this is a great thing. Both sides right now have wanted to help bail out the airline industry as they've been furloughing or laying off over 30,000 employees across the country. Both of the Democrats and the Republicans feel like they need to help the airline industry so that they don't have further layoffs. If they do not do an individual bill for the airlines, that puts more pressure on both sides to get an overall package deal signed for the next stimulus relief. This would include $1,200 stimulus checks. This would also include rental assistance. It would also include somewhere between $400 and $600 per week unemployment benefits. And it should also include SNAP benefit increases as well as WIC benefit increases. These are all things that many of you are wondering about and wanting to have happen. And so the fact that the airline industry uh, bailout is going to be thrown into with all the rest of the stimulus, I think is actually a good thing because there is pressure on both sides and they've actually told the airlines to hold off uh, doing furloughs in, in ex expectation that a stimulus package will be reached soon. While both sides agree on stimulus checks, on bailout, uh, bailing out the airline industry, as well as unemployment benefits, there are still a few differences that they have and that's what's holding up this next bill. The biggest difference seems to continue to be funding for state and local governments. Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats want $436 billion for state and local governments, while the Trump administration has offered about $250 billion for state and local governments. So that's almost $200 billion apart just in the state and local government funding. That's really still one of the biggest sticking points. The other one is the amount for unemployment insurance. Nancy Pelosi wanted just the $600 per week unemployment benefit that expired at the end of July. She just wants that renewed and continued to be $600 per week. The Trump administration counter offered and offered $400 per week in hopes that less people would be making uh, more on unemployment than they were at their previous job. So those two main uh, divisions in, in the stimulus negotiations are what seem to be holding things up. However, it is great news to hear that Nancy Pelosi and Steven Mnuchin are continuing to meet. They met again yesterday, and I believe they will probably meet again today and discuss the overall stimulus plan. On Wednesday, we heard that Mnuchin and Pelosi were meeting, but only to discuss the airline bailout. 
but that has changed and they are back to negotiating an overall package deal. In a news conference yesterday, Nancy Pelosi said, we're at the table, we want to continue the conversation, we've made some progress, we're exchanging language. So they are meeting and they are hopefully moving closer to a deal. Obviously we've been saying this for weeks that they have been moving closer to a deal, but it does sound like at least the talks have resumed you know, after the, the Tuesday tweet from President Trump, everyone was freaking out that a deal wasn't going to be reached. And I was freaking out thinking that a deal wasn't going to be reached. But it does sound like they are at least working towards a deal again. Hopefully that deal comes within the next week. I mean, we never know. I mean, we've been, we've been saying, you know, hopefully it comes in the next week for weeks now. So obviously I'm not going to hold my breath, but it does seem promising that they are continuing to meet and they are looking forward to coming to an agreement. One person that has always been on board with stimulus checks and more stimulus being sent out to America is Fed Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, and that has not changed. This week, he said, the recovery will be stronger and move faster if monetary policy and fiscal policy continue to work side by side to provide support to the economy until it is clearly out of the woods. And Jerome Powell also said that the low income Americans are the ones that have been hit hardest in this pandemic. And I think most of you know that that truly is the case. The wealthy people in, in America have not been hit very hard by this pandemic, but it's the poorest people in America that really have been struggling and are really just trying to figure out how to make ends meet, how to stay in their homes, how to pay for food and everything else. And that's why I think a stimulus is necessary to help the poorest of the poor in this country. Many people, especially those that are most vulnerable, will continue to struggle without more stimulus. I am hopeful once again that Mnuchin and Pelosi can come to an agreement and that it's something that at least enough Republicans in the Senate can sign off on it. The House of Representatives, once Pelosi gets on board, will get on board as well. If they can reach an overall package deal, there will be $1,200 stimulus checks and those of you on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and VA benefits would be included in those $1,200 stimulus checks. And like I said earlier, if you are claimed as a dependent, you should receive $500 stimulus checks this time around. In addition to that, the overall stimulus package should include rental assistance, it should include increases to SNAP and WIC benefits, as well as unemployment benefits for those that have lost their jobs. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you once again for watching and I will talk to you again soon.